Hey guys, so I just got out here to my farm where we keep all our vehicles and boy we got a lot of them but then I get over here to this pickup not the one I'm coming after but the one that's here and I get here and the hood's open like that and I look around on the ground the grass is tromped down pretty good they stole the injector pump out of it ruined all my injector lines i mean they're so bent that i can't even fix them stole my air cleaner so this perfectly good turbo is sitting here in the weather just getting pissed on then i think that's the worst of it think again so they stole the entire dash they stole every bit of the dash out of this pickup Rip the headliner. I, I put this cab on this truck. And then somebody comes and steals all my hard work. I mean, I this is the truck that I was fixing. It, the, it was rolled over, has 15,000 miles on it. And so I put the cab and front end on. That's why it's all different colors. Uh, I just hadn't got done fixing it yet. And... They steal everything. So here's my 15,000 mile Dodge diesel pickup and just sitting here getting ruined because somebody thought they needed the parts worse than I did. So I called the sheriff. We'll check back in with that whenever they show up. But for now, we're going to go over here and try to still salvage today. Uh, this is an old Toyota pickup and we paid sixty dollars for this truck so we're gonna try to get it loaded on the trailer while we're waiting on them and take it home see if we can't make this one run so i'll check back with you here in a minute whenever i get i'm gonna start by airing up the tires and stuff like that so we'll do that so oh, but i'm just so upset about this dang pickup i i put a lot of time and effort into it and for somebody to come and just steal it uh, they're just the scum of the earth so we'll just see how that goes here shortly so we'll wait for the sheriff to get up here and boy i'm just so upset about that stole the headlights out of it i had headlights put in it i had a grill on it I mean, it was the body outside was complete. Bumper's gone. Just everything's gone off this truck. So, oh, just so upset. So, let's get this old Toyota loaded up and wait for the sheriff to get here. I'm going to be partner, Go Andrew ahead. Hendricks. Well, this has happened within the last two weeks because I was here two weeks ago. Okay. Uh, they stole the entire freaking dash out of a pickup. Oh really? They stole, uh, this has been a pickup that I've been working on and I brought it back out here because I've been waiting on parts on it and then they stole e almost everything that I've done. What is that? GoPro. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> they, they stole almost everything that I did. I changed over the cab. This truck has 15,000 miles on it. It was oh. rolled over. Oh, and so okay. I changed out the cab and been working on it. but. And they, it's been within the last two weeks, and I see all the grass is knocked down around it, but they stole the whole freaking dash. And the injector pump. Uh, huh. Okay. It looks like they were in that police car, too. <laughs> I don't know what they would want out of there. Maybe, I don't know if the cage is still in there. Probably not. Yep. Dang it. Sorry. <laughs> trying to adjust my camera up a little bit so we'll put it in the pocket. Oh it's got me pretty hot. Good still recording. Alright. That that uh I can understand being a little hot about that. Well the injector pump on it's four thousand dollars. Hmm. Oh I mean I still even have my tow chain hooked onto it but they stole the grill, headlights 
You put I only, it way back here, so no one will Right. I put it way back in the back. We have all the junk cars pretty much closer to the front. Cause none of these ones, other than this one, this one's going home too. But they stole it all off this brown, green, and red, and tri-color Dodge. I've been piecing it back together. Stole a battery out of it. I left a good hot battery in it. That way it would just start up and drive on the trailer. And <laughs> it's just old. This, yeah. Okay. So that's all the ones that I run is these ones. So. Oh, okay. I used to have a top 2500. I had a 15 on it. Right. It was a 97. Wow. Uh, they stole the air intake off of it and just left the. Which pisses me off because I would have. Anybody could have asked me. I would have given them any of the pieces off both those trucks over there that are junk. This one is the one I've been working on though because it's only got 15,000 miles. They stole the heater element, the injector pump, ruined all the injector lines. All this over here, the grass is knocked down so they weren't... They were lucky I didn't show up whenever we were out here. Mm -hmm. And then they stole the entire... <laughs> But apparently they left me an instrument cluster. Dang. So, yeah. My phone's ringing. Put it up on the roof just in case you tried to call. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, I'm out here talking with the sheriff. I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. Love you, bye. <sighs> I just put a brand new dash in this truck because... These dashes are known for cracking out. Yeah, they are. And so I Especially put up top. Right. So I put a brand new dash, brand new headlights, brand new grill, and then the bumper, I hadn't got it mounted, is still at my house. And I don't know what the hell somebody was thinking. I don't know anything. So, um let me go. So, let me go back out to my truck. Okay. I'll get uh, my camera phone a smartphone okay. um well get some pictures there. and we had another problem with somebody else stealing out here this has happened several months ago but i think i know who it did who did it i just can't prove it and the crackhead that used to live out here they stole the front end front knuckle off this truck uh, then i come and like all these windows that are down i rolled up two weeks ago and somebody keeps rolling the windows freaking down. So. Is it they're searching for other things yeah, to steal? Yeah. And I mean, there's not a whole hell of a lot worth anything out here. <coughs> other than the one truck that I'm working on. <laughs> so. Yeah. This okay. pisses me off. You can, where I walk down, there's a whole path that is clear all the way right up here. If okay. you don't want to have to walk back and forth. <laughs> Anyways, it's it's all clear all the way to that red pickup. All right. so. Well, they got two of them showing up. I guess we'll do a report real quick and see what they want to do. Uh, I don't think they can find anybody who did this. It's, it's just too much. There's not enough people out here. So, anyways, he's going to go get his pickup and pull it up here. And we'll start a report. So, <laughs> I guess I can go ahead and hook my winch line onto that pickup while I'm waiting on him to said he'll bring his pickup over here. So, because I'd like to get this thing loaded today. See if I have enough let out. Nope. Another 10 feet and I'll have her. So, let me get this loaded and we'll see what they say. Okay, they left, or they're leaving, and they're gonna make a report on it. They said they'd do a better job. Uh, they'd come up here and search around, just poke around. They 
I enjoyed looking at all the old vehicles. So, anyways, so there they are. We're gonna get hooked onto this and see what we can do. So, let's go. We got her loaded. Uh, boy, that was a bunch of work. So let's get this thing tied down and get it home. Uh, let's do a walk around it real quick. Windshield is obviously trash. Interior, not very good. Uh, see if we can pop the hood. Ugh. Ignition's been ripped out. Uh, See what little eyes. Oh, I think that's the 22R motor. Good, good engine. Uh, so we'll take it and slap it together. See what happens there. Uh, I don't know what it's going to take to make this thing run, but it ought to be fun. Ought to be a challenge. So let's get it home. Uh, we'll get it running. We'll see about finding some tires for it. These are 14 inch tires. So <coughs> let's throw some. Okay, well, we got the thing loaded. It's back there. We're just about to head out of the junkyard and see what we can run into. And I got this thing loaded backwards because oh, too tight. Got this thing loaded backwards because it is a uh, oh because that's just the way it was sitting in there so we'll get out on the junkyard out of the junkyard and then we'll get on the road and we'll talk to you guys then all right here we go on the road so what really pisses me off is you know I would have given somebody most every part they ever needed for that truck I, I have all the extra parts I have them if they would have just asked I would have given them to them no problem just take them but for you to come out and steal them that ain't right I mean I am super disappointed that somebody thinks that they can just have what's not theirs and you can just ask for it and I'd give it to you. So, anyways. But we got what we wanted today. We got the Toyota loaded. I got a pretty interesting plan for this pickup coming up. Uh, so, we'll get home. We probably won't unload it tonight. I don't know what time it is. It's, it's uh, almost 4 o'clock. It's 3.30 now. So, we'll, we'll get home and put this thing on the ground probably tomorrow sometime and and see if it'll start so stay tuned we'll see if it'll run we'll we'll do something pretty interesting with this pickup so thank you guys let's get home
so I have a lead on where my stuff might be might be in Arnett Oklahoma so we're gonna go check it out see if we can't find it we're just about to Shattuck and we're gonna go to Arnett and figure out where this dude lives so we'll see if I find my stuff it might just be a whole different story so I the old black Dodge is towing that thing pretty good even though it is backwards yeah but that thing don't weigh nothing I mean it's you know, almost four guys could pick the whole thing up and move it so anyways so let's go to our net and see where if we can find out if somebody there took my stuff so all right Good. find anything in our net uh, I'm gonna keep looking around and see who around this area drives the same type of pickup and I cracked that dash in one specific spot and it's not very common for it to crack there so I'll I'll keep looking and see if I can't find it and but just another I don't know 45 minutes and we'll be home so let's get home and see what we can at least back this thing into the shop probably not take it off the trailer tonight so smart thing to do so anyways i might have to clean out some of the shop and get it in here so but we might order some tires before i pull it off the trailer because those are sort of flat all of them so let's get a battery going and see if this thing turns over we got a battery put in it out of the old dodge there and so we are going to come over here get a screwdriver preferably a small one i know the light's bad but we'll get a small screwdriver and we'll come over here batteries in i heard it click a little bit whenever i Touched a wire to there. 
Oh, look at there. We got a light on on the dash. Let's make sure the sucker is in neutral. An oil light and a charge light. So. Let's see if this sucker will turn over. Okay, if you guys are gonna wanna see how this thing turns out, does it start, does it run? You're gonna have to subscribe. I mean, subscribe to the channel, turn their bell notifications on. Uh, we're going to have to see what's going on with this starter. I don't know. Did it? Did I get it to start? I don't know. I'm sort of upset about the way th the day has gone, but, you know, that's just stuff. We can get that stuff back. And so, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Continue to jack around with me. I'm John. Bye.